So yeah, my tooth is killing me and uh, I can't take it anymore. Hi guys, okay, so, ooh, I'm still numb, ooh, like, I, I'm, mm, mm, y'all, never mind, never mind, mm. okay, it went perfect, you guys, Fuller Dental here in Burlington, I need to do my review, can y'all see that? Fuller Dental. Um, Dr. Epstein and Lacey, who was the... Um, Lacey, who was the dental assistant. Um, she was amazing, by the way. I don't know if they'll ever see this video, but... Um, sorry, y'all. I need to get in. Sorry. Okay, so done tooth is out no more pain now your girl just has to concentrate on making sure that i don't mess up the healing part of this and get dry socket because i've had dry socket before and it is not fun so now comes me just healing doing everything i need to do to heal um i don't really want to drink any sodas even though i'm feeding for one but I don't want any of that carbonation and caffeine and stuff to affect the healing, which I've I've read that 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 caffeine and or carbonated drinks do something when you got teeth taken out. Anyway, so I am headed to my sister's. I will pick you guys back up a little later. She's going to be doing my hair. So get that process going too i love you guys hopefully this thursday today's thursday i don't know when today's friday i don't know when i'm going oh jesus it's all the way numb it's numb it's swollen all the way up oh jesus anyway um it is friday the 31st of july i'm pretty sure this is going up today so hopefully your friday is doing it has been good, is good, will be good. Yeah. So let me get off here because I'm driving. Bye, guys. As you can tell, that did not go up on the 31st. So sorry. But if you stick with me to the end, I'll explain why. Now, back to the vlog. Back to me and my sister. Having a good time as she does my hair. And go. And typical Janie, Inaj the Dragon acting a fool and yes i am not shamed in none of my game y'all i don't care what my hair looks like i have wear wigs weaves i have shaved my hair off i have grown it to a full fro i have lived in the majesty that is my hair so oh no i'm not ashamed to see, let you guys see the before during and after process so enjoy as my sister, she's going to cornrow the top of my hair and then she's going to crochet the hair that's in my hands into my head. Now, most of the people who probably are listening to this know exactly what I'm talking about. If you do not, please just Google it. For right now, yes, when I braid my hair, I can braid. I cannot, however, oh my gosh, my sister's a fool. I cannot, however, braid to the scalp. Janie, stop. She is a fool. I cannot corn row, which means what my sister is about to do, part my hair and then literally braid my hair to my scalp. 
I can plait away from the scalp and create braids. Anytime you see my braids, my Marley twist, that was done by me. And like I said, so this is another angle. So my hair is corn rolled uh, down and now my sister is literally just crocheting. Uh, that's a crochet hook. Um, I don't think it's the one that's like a quote unquote normal crochet that you would with thread or yarn, but it is a hair crochet hook. And I mean, the technique seems easy. Um, I just, again, have never learned how to cornrow. And so I cannot do my own hair. So I thank God for my little sister. Uh, I love you, Janie. I know she is an avid watcher. She is one of my biggest fans, and I love her. So if you are watching this, thank you, sis. Um, we are, again, just acting a fool, laughing, joking. I did, of course, mute the actual audio because we started talking about some personal things. So um, anyway, yeah, I am so excited, and I thank God for my sister. Yes, darling, get into it. The aftermath of it all. Yes, yes. And then after the numbness wore off, I was back home in the bed all weekend. You guys, whew, I hate that I heal so slow. But anyway, on to just a happier time. My queens and my kings, I'm back. So today is Friday the 7th, 
it has been a week since all that footage you saw footage you saw other than the getting ready school stuff so just a small recap i deeply apologize that i did not put that video out on friday mainly because after i got to my sister's she did my hair we talked we laughed i mean every time me and my sister get together it's just laughs and the occasional tears if i need to get stuff off my chest i mean it's just i mean she's my best she's one of my best friends so anyway so after that yakking it up driving by the time she got done with my hair though i was coming down from the numbness and i was feeling ex extremely tired my mouth was hurting um and all i wanted to do i wanted we were going to watch beyonce's black is king she watched it i haven't watched it yet even though i can i want to watch it with her um so anyway instead of not having a good time with her watching the movie i decided to just drive home so literally i drove home and i was the whole weekend just in the bed recovering so today being a week out there is still some pain. there's still some pain it's like a mild irritation though nothing like it was obviously on day one and nothing like it was on day two and three day two and three killed me um i'm i honestly the only thing i'm doing is still staying away from drinking out of a straw and i haven't drank any soda um i've been i mean drinking soda to me i'm trying not to do period so getting this tooth extracted just kind of helped with the process because now i can wean myself off of drinking sodas and i it's easier because i know i don't want to mess up anything to do with my tooth so the extraction site and with that I did have to get stitches because the roots of my teeth, he had to go in and dig a little bit deeper. Oh, and I think in the video, I cut out a part. I told y'all about Lacey, the dental assistant, but I did not tell y'all, I don't think about Dr. Epstein, who was the dentist who took the tooth out. He is amazing. He is amazing. Great guy. Great dentist. Like, Anyway, so um, from what I know him to be as a dentist, now, nah. anyway, so um, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to ramble so much, y'all, but then I get on here and want to tell y'all everything, like every bit and piece. So um, I go back on Monday, this coming Monday to get the stitches out. At that point, they'll tell me what's wrong, what's right, like you're healing good fly my my baby bird fly out the nest um and i think other than coming back for a cleaning and all that stuff that's all that i really have to do with the dentist and with my teeth i can i have not been wearing my smile direct aligners because of the extraction and the fact that they grip my teeth and my gums not to mention there was a tooth back there when i had the aligners so now it literally it it feels weird, but it also feels tighter because my teeth have shifted. So, with that being said, that may be a new Smile Direct um, realignment coming. But honestly, I like my smile the way it is. So, I feel like my, my retainers, once I'm able to put them back in, everything will shift back. I have my new retainers coming anyway. So, um, this school thing that i that you saw clips of yes 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 i am in school but not as a student guys i will go into another video down the road but long, i want to make a long story short again i don't want to be rambling on here i right now will not show you guys the school because it is a private school I am a teaching assistant. I will be taking this year to learn the community, learn the school, 
just learn everything I can about it. It is a Christian based Montessori school in Garner, North Carolina. If you know where Raleigh, North Carolina is, Cary, North Carolina, it's right there. So anyway, um, I have been having or feeling a calling of teaching on my life for a while now, but I've been running from it and I just couldn't stop anymore. I couldn't hide anymore. Let me sit up. Sorry, you guys. And so, yeah, I am a teaching assistant. I will learn the culture, learn everything I can about Montessori learning and Montessori teaching and you know, definitely speak with Danny and Carrie, the CEO and COO. They are a married couple, awesome people. They started the school. Um, and again, if I will speak in a video later on, but Montessori, M O N T E S S O R I. <coughs> the concept was started by Maria Montessori. So, Definitely Google her, Google the what the school is, what the foundation of that type of learning is. It's a magnificent way for children to learn and to grow on their own independence. And it's just awesome. <coughs> so I do plan on getting my teaching uh, degree, teaching certificate. Um, I do not wish to remain a teaching assistant um, for my whole career and I, did y'all hear that career yes y'all this is not just a job i have been praying for forever that god opens up a door for a chance to have a career not just some job and he has done that and not only has he done that he's gifted me with a school where the people are amazing the teachers that i work with amazing the founders of this school amazing and it's a Christian based school. So we back everything with the word, with God, with the Bible. Like when I tell y'all, we started on Wednesday, which are with the, with our teacher work days. And so I've only been there for three days and it has been the best three days. When I woke up today, this being Friday, I was tired. But for the first time in my life, first time in a while, I won't say in my life. For the first time in a while, I woke up not mentally tired and not mentally drained from a job. I woke up for a first time in a long time, not fearing going to work. I'm like, yo, people do this. People get into careers that they love and that, yes, is going to be hard times. But when you do something you love, most days... You're able to push through even the hard times. And I know I can only speak. It's only been three days and I'm not a teacher yet. You know, I'm a teaching assistant, but you guys, all I can say is glory to God. And I'm thankful for this opportunity. I'm not going to slander it. I'm not going to rush anything. I'm going to kind of just sit in this position i'm going to sit in this blessing and learn all that i can you know and just not take this for granted with that being said i will not be vlogging for a while um i may film here and there but i don't know about youtube right this second only because i have to make sure that i'm doing this properly appropriately and not just putting out videos just to be putting stuff out not to mention i'm boring like people think my life is a lot more interesting than it than it really is and it's really not anyway um so yeah so like i i will put out maybe one more video in the next coming weeks to explain a little bit more in depth because right now i know i'm going in circles but i'm also trying not to talk that long um but just know I am in a career now. I am a teach. I'm going to claim it now. I am a teacher, honey. You know, this teaching assistant is just to give me some legs and some roots to stand on. All right. Bear my mark. My words. This is August the 7th. Mark my words within the within the year. I would have done enough to fulfill my calling. 
I'm putting it out there. It's time for us to start speaking life into each other, into ourselves. It is time for us to start speaking positivity and, and good works into our lives and into ourselves. Um, yeah, so I challenge you to shout out right now in your home, in your car, wherever you, wherever you are and you're listening to this vlog. You shout out, you write it down. Something that you are going to do, even if it's a year from now, two years from now, tomorrow, after you finish listening to this video, whenever, you're going to do it. Put it out there in the airwaves. I'm going to be a millionaire. Just put it out there. But then you also have to do the planning and all that good stuff. But it starts with a yes. It starts with the I'm going to. It starts with that positive self-affirmation. Start there and the rest will come. The rest will follow. You will put in the work, okay? So with that being said, I'm a teaching assistant, soon to be teacher of my own class. I am so happy, so blessed. My tooth is out. It's fine. Yeah. So thank you guys for just listening. I'm not going anywhere, but just for right now, I'm giving myself a little break. Yeah. See what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with your girl. Like I always say, love on yourself, love on each other, because we do not know how long we have on this earth. We really don't know. Love you.